Sutherland Springs Church Shooting Slideshow by Photo Services Sutherland Springs, Texas The heartache is thick between the lines of white crosses. The glimpses of life are affixed. Flowers bright against overcast skies. Smiling faces in photos reflected through the lenses of cameras. Plush giraffes and ponies seated on the prickly, bleached grass. The small monuments to those lost to a gunman in this town of about 600 remain near the grounds of the First Baptist Church. It is the site where 25 of its congregation including a pregnant woman and her unborn child were slain during morning services Sunday. Faith leaders and families one in the same within a cluster of profoundly enmeshed small towns or coordinating funeral arrangements for their own as they also prepare to return to worship one week after the killings. In a service planned outside the nearby community center, among the first of the announced funerals will be for a freckled 16-year-old girl whose eyes were set on a future of caring for the tiniest patients as a nurse in a neonatal intensive care unit. The funeral for Haley Kruger will be held Sunday in San Antonio. According to an obituary published by the Wilson County News, several volunteer groups have emerged in Sutherland Springs, reaching out to those touched by tragedy, including the Salvation Army and American Red Cross. On Thursday, volunteers from the Southern Baptists of Texas Convention walked the neighborhood surrounding the church in bright yellow windbreakers. This disaster response has been a unique deployment for us said Gordon Knight, director of chaplains. They have been in the town since Monday, carrying out their work. We're here to comfort families, surviving members, anyone that just needs some understanding, someone to talk to, someone to pray with, he said. We're a ministry of presence. That's what we teach. Distinct among the crisis response teams is a K-9 crew of 25, 17 people and 8 dogs. The group has been there since Monday, meeting their goal of putting boots and paws on the ground within 24 hours of disasters, said Tim Hetzner, president and CEO of Lutheran Church Charities. Their work is built on spiritual support from their people and enduring affection of their canine counterparts. Their specially trained comfort dogs golden retrievers named Rufus, Damaris, Pax, Barnabas, Gabriel, Elijah, Abner and Phoebe have largely interacted with emergency workers who responded to the horrific scene at the church in its aftermath. The dog zone an unparalleled quality for those who have been in the midst of trauma. Hetzner said, they're confidential, they're good listeners. He said, they are non-judgmental, and they don't keep records. It gives the first responders a chance to talk what they've been through. A key part of the healing process is being able to talk about what they've been through. Our dogs provide that bridge. Quote. 